Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Make sure that you live your absolute best life and get an amazing laugh on every single day. Hello, welcome to all of my Pisces and all of my cross watchers. I thank you so much for giving me so much positive feedback in that last video. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I all, and thank you so much for all the donations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out in the next video for the people who have donated to my channel. Um, I just want to give you a special recognition. I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, so I just wanted to announce something before I start this reading. Um, I've actually started, I'm going to go ahead and start a, um, a membership channel. So you'll be able to get perks from signing up um, as a member. The first level of the membership is SP1, like spiritual liaison one. So it's S. P1, um, and that is $3.99 to join. Um, the second level, uh, the second level of the membership is SP2 Party, and that is $9.99 to join. And the third level, the highest level, is SP3 VIP, and that is $24.99 to join. So you'll get an opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and start that. So you can, um, and that should be started within the next 24 hours. So you'll get an opportunity to um, see extended readings depending on what level you have signed up for. Um, you'll get discounts on merch depending on what levels you've signed up for. You'll get an opportunity to vibe with me live face-to-face. -face. Um, you'll also get an opportunity to ask me two free questions a month, depending on the level that you've signed up for, okay? Um, the membership level you've signed up for. Just wanted to go ahead and put that out there before we started this reading. And I love you guys. I'm sending you nothing but the most best, amazing, positive energy. And I am praying everybody is just in the best health um, because health is wealth. Okay. All right. So the first card that came out is the Jupiter card. And so this is that the Jupiter card speaks of like, like the planet Jupiter is like considered like the biggest planet. Um, or at one time it was considered the biggest planet, but because we have so many galaxies now, um, and so many planets and numerous moons and suns and all that kind of stuff. Um, maybe it's not the biggest planet anymore. <laughs> okay. But at one time it was considered the biggest planet. Okay. And, but, so I get the energy that you are in that prospering, um, and enriching your life, uh, place you want to do things to prosper and make your life a lot better. Um, but you're doing it through opening your mind. You're opening your energy. You're making sure that you keep an open mind for things in your life um, through seeing the bigger picture of things in numerous situations. It's like you're seeing things from another perspective, from other people's perspective, because you're keeping an open mind. It's doing something like in making your life a little better. Um and the this card represents like it it controls like the sixth chakra and so um and the color is indigo so that's that's like the mind chakra like you are seeing things like i said you're seeing things from a different point of view you're seeing things from other people's perspective you're opening your mind and that has caused your life your energy because you have tapped into being open minded it has caused um, the universe to want to get to enrich your life, enrich your behavior, enrich the way you talk, the way you think, the way you move your actions in life and, and, and bring about, bring about prosperity. We're also in a waxing gibbous, uh, Aries moon tonight. And so, um, I also get the energy that you're moving a little too fast with something too. You're trying to hurry up and get things done, but make sure that you're like taking the time to analyze things right. I get that 
like it's almost like a deadline, almost like you're you're trying to meet a deadline. You're trying to hurry up and finish up something and rush and complete something. Um, but make sure that you're doing it in a smart way, of the right way, so you're not making mistakes that that preventable mistakes. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Now we're finished with all of that. Let's go ahead and do this reading. Okay. Okay, Pisces. So, the first card out in your energy is you're still you're trying to get over things and I get that's why you're you're trying to see why things happened in your life the way that they did you're trying to analyze um what has happened in your life certain betrayals that you faced or certain hardships in your life that you faced you're looking at them from a different perspective you've opened your mind you're kind of like seeing things like it's like you're tired of being in this energy where you're tired of crying over what you lost you're tired of crying over crying over spilled milk it's like you realize you have so many other options here and i see you ready to move over like cross that bridges you're not even worried about the bridges that have been burned anymore um you're actually focusing on what like how can you make your life more prosperous and you're not really worried about betrayals anymore it's like you're trying to see things like why people did certain things why you reacted the way you reacted was that the right way to react why did they i just get you analyzing every aspect as every aspect of your life and it's just like you're tired of crying over spilt milk. You're tired of crying over relationships that you've lost or things that did not work out in your life. And I get that you have, you may have even burnt some bridges in your life and you're looking at things like how, you know, you can sort of like learn from your mistakes. Um, that's bringing in prosperity though. That's the fact that you're even willing to learn from your mistakes, Pisces, I get it's causing your life to become a lot, um, a lot more stable. Things are stabling out. You're seeing the bigger picture in things instead of, instead of like just focusing, like she sees she has her back turned to these other blessings here because she's just looking kind of sad about what she's what she's already lost. I get that you are past that phase. I don't get that this is current. I don't get that you're you're in that energy where you you keep focusing on like, oh, woe is me. I lost this. I don't have that. I get the energy now. You're just sort of looking at what happened to cause these things to happen in your life. For you to have losses, for you to make certain, de certain decisions that you've made. Um, you could have lost love. You could have about you could have been about to get married or about to move in with someone and things did not work out. Or you were having some sort of like a celebration, or you looked for a celebration and things didn't work out. Um, and I just get the energy instead of you sort of like sulking behind it, I just get you feel you're just it's something that has changed within you, Pisces where you're no longer focusing on it. You're just like, um, okay, it happened. You know, it, it, it wasn't the best feeling. Um, I get that you focused on it for a while. You looked at it, but I just see you analyzing it and getting through it. You're working through it. And the fact that you're willing to forgive others and you're willing to forgive yourself for situations, things that you lost, things that you feel like you wanted to hold on to, I get that you have matured, you have grown, um, and that you're just in a better place mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. That's what I get. Um, you're no longer even focused on those who pretended to be trustworthy and loyal to you or like said that they were going to give you so much love. It's like you're not even focusing on those individuals anymore. It's like you're like, okay, you know what? What happened, happened, and I've moved on. Um, then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So it's like 
you could even, I get the energy Pisces, you realize that hurt people hurt people. So you realize these people hurt you because they didn't have real love within themselves. How could they give real love to you or anyone else with all these other options that they had when they don't even have true real love for themselves? They don't even trust themselves. So how could you expect to trust them like and I get that you're seeing that now you're seeing the bigger picture you're not taking it so personal anymore like oh this person betrayed me this person betrayed themselves so why would you think that they wouldn't betray you they don't even have a lot of respect for themselves so why would they don't know how to respect you because they don't know how to respect themselves and I get that you're seeing that now and that kind of helped you forgive them that kind of helped you get out of this five of cups um phase where you were focusing on them so much so you could have had felt really bad about like a connection that didn't work out or you all had to separate from each other you all had to move out from away from each other or something you may have even had to divorce someone, but I get the energy Pisces that it's, you have come to the realization that hurt people hurt people and those who don't love themselves will never be able to properly love anyone else. That's why they were in this energy, looking at all these other options all the time. And excuse my nails, like I'm trying to let them heal. I had all of these ridges that come from me getting acrylic on my nails. So I'm letting this fall off. I'm sorry, like I'm, I, we're getting into something different. <laughs> but I'm letting all this fall off so I can let my nails heal. I'm putting like vitamin E and things on them so I don't have to... Um, get acrylic on them anymore and I can just get maybe just the gel over top of my real nails. So excuse my nails, okay? All right. So anyway, in this up front, I mean up, up right, we have the seven of cups, a person that has a lot of options. This person, they they basically cut their nose off the spite their face. If people, if you all know what that means. So they don't have loyalty with themselves, Pisces. They're not even loyal to themselves. They don't even treat themselves right. So why would you think that they would treat you right? And I get that you have come, you've started to see things for what they really are. You opened up your mind to start to understand why people betrayed you and that it wasn't even about you. The betrayal was not about you. When people don't feel good about themselves, they literally go out and seek people who they feel like they can get, gain their trust only for them to try to betray them. That's what they do because they're that damaged. And it's nothing you can do about that, Pisces, because they were damaged long before they met you. I promise you that. So with the two of wands upright, it's like you're at some sort of crossroads now. So you could have been battling with like, you know, should I forgive this person and let them back in my energy? Or should I just love them from afar because bridges have been burned? Because they promised me marriage or they promised a really good connection with me or they promised that they will, they would do their part if we move together or that we would move together and then they backed out. So it's like you're trying to decide whether you should allow this person back in your life completely or just love them from afar forgive them and move on. And I get that you're battling with that right now. It's like you even understand, it's like you're seeing things from such a, a bird's eye view. You even see the, the other people who they've hurt. You know that you're not the only one. The, they could have hurt numerous people. They, I, you, you were feeling like this was only you laying down here being betrayed so much. They've hurt numerous people though, Pisces. You weren't the only person they betrayed, but you know who they betrayed before they betrayed anyone? They betrayed themselves. They betrayed themselves more than they betray anyone because they truly don't have self-love. It's nothing you can do about that. I get that you've even tried to encourage this person through being very kind to them, through being loving and, and giving to them, 
you were in that nine of pentacles state where you had accomplished things in your life. And so you just came in with an open heart and like wanted to be loving. And they saw all the love you were giving to yourself. They saw how well you took care of yourself. They saw that you were able to go out here and do a lot on your own and things like that. And so they actually didn't really didn't understand how you could have so much love for you. And it sort of made them envious though. So they, they they're thinking that you could heal them, but they really didn't want to be healed because they have gotten some sort of like, you would be surprised how many people out here in this world, um, get pleasure out of hurting others. They get pleasure out of doing dirt to others and seeing others in pain or or trying to see if they can break someone down. I get that this person tried to break you down because they looked at you as too independent. So they kind of wanted to see if they could, you know, break past your walls, break past your that barrier that you may have set up um, for yourself. So they could have did things like came in like they were just so kind and loving and just wanted to build this prosperous life with you, right? So they pretended that they wanted to be here, but they really were here. But it's due to their own damaged spirit. And it's nothing you can do about people like that. And so the six of world, the sw the six of swords speaks of like going on, leaving something behind, a new beginning, um, looking at things from a new perspective, to seeing things, turning your back on something as well. But in reverse, that's why I get that you're sort of in your your at a crossroads at like whether you should let this person back or not because you're seeing it like they're damaged and hurt. But Pisces. You can't save somebody who don't want to be saved. You can't fix somebody who don't want to be fixed. They got to fix themselves. And I get that you're trying to fix them or you were hoping you could fix them um, because you were doing so well and emotionally stable. I get that this person could have come in like a hurricane in your life and things went all over the place. You're taking it personal. I get that you took it personal at one time, but I get now you're seeing things from a bigger picture and you see that this person didn't only betray you, but they betrayed a lot of people around them too. They did. Um, they just don't, have, they're not a trustworthy person and it's because they lack self-love. They lack self-respect. And I get that you tried to save them. They had all of these other options and stuff like that, but none of them were worth anything. And I get that now their options are limited and they're sitting there trying to figure out why that things aren't working out between you all anymore or why things have not progress to that next level where you see things very clearly they're still in that self they're still in that self sabotage phase they don't realize that they burn bridges with people and that they burn these bridges with you out of trying to be manipulative trying to manipulate you trying to be you know controlling in some way pretending to be trustworthy when they were not um then we have the four the four um speaks of stability groundness and things like that, like having that stable life. And I get this person saw that your life was stable, that you are a strong person, that you have like a lot of good energy with you. And this person was trying to feed off of that. They could have come to you with a lot of sob stories like, oh, you know, no one helped me and I help everybody and no one helped me, this, that, and the other, trying to get make you feel sorry for them. Um, the whole time, they don't even really help themselves the way that they really should. Um, I get that you're just trying to figure out because it's just like you're seeing things from a different point of view, Pisces. You think that you may be able to save this person. Again, listen to what I when I tell you this. You cannot save a person who do not want to save themselves. Somebody who don't even want to be saved. That's the equivalent of you telling someone who swims way too far out when you all are on the beach, they swim way too far out into shark infested water. And it's all kind of signs up saying it's sharks out there. Don't swim out that far. And they do it anyway, without a life jacket. Right. 
And so, you know, you may have gone out there, saved them, pulled them back to safety before. What do they do after you pull them back to the beach and, and to, to dry land? They jump right back out there again because this is what they they don't believe in themselves. Um, I get that you were dealing with somebody with a really low self-esteem who probably pretended to have confidence when they really don't. Um, I get that their self-esteem is really low. Something could have happened in their life where they were betrayed a lot. And so they don't think highly of themselves. So they attach themselves to people who have a high self-esteem because they want to get that energy. And, and eventually you figured this out. You figured out that they don't even love themselves. So that's why they could not love you. They easily betray themselves and burn bridges with others. That's why it was so easy for them to betray you. Yeah, they're heartless. The card that came out is heartless. They're heartless. They don't have a heart. They don't even see, they don't have remorse for the, the things that they do to people. Um... I get that this person is damaged, Pisces. They're damaged goods. And you try to fix them. You try to fix a broken... It's like you try to fix something that is broken beyond repair. Something that you... It's like you have... This person has all the pieces to fix themselves. And they refuse to put themselves back together because they feel hopeless so they treat people in a heartless way. I just get that this person betrayed a lot of people. They have betrayed a lot of people around them. You're not the only one. You took this personal, but this isn't personal. This person don't even, they betray themselves. This is the type of person that will literally have so many people helping them in blessings and will burn bridges with the best people. Will burn bridges with the best people people because they don't think of themselves as valuable. You saw value in them when they don't even see it in themselves, Pisces. And you keep trying to save them. You're throwing on this cape, trying to save them. They can't be saved, Pisces. Not by you. Not by you. Uh-uh. And I just get the energy you're debating with yourself, like, because you see things from a different perspective. You see that this person is damaged and hurting. You see that they keep causing tower moments in their own life. And then they, you, you, you went in to try to save them and you're trying to debate on whether you should go back again to save them. What? Who? What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Get the fuck out of your head, get in your heart, it misses you. So stop thinking about this person and whether the, the answer is there, Pisces. Stop thinking about this person and whether you should go help them out again. Whether you should go and throw on your coat and coat, I mean your your um your cloak, your superwoman or superman cloak and save them again. Um this person don't want to be saved. Don't say that they don't want to be saved. <laughs> this person don't want to be saved, Pisces. They don't. They they like sitting there all shattered and broken and damaged and they can blame other people or get off on using other people and all that kind of stuff and burning bridges. I even get, oh my goodness, Pisces. I ain't even, what is this? Okay. Per, okay. This is a person, so I'm going to just use this. This is what I got. So this could definitely relate to somebody um, who's, I'm tapping into semi energy right now because this just came in. So this person, if you all were in a relationship or in some sort of connection, you were wondering why things wouldn't work out. Things keep messing up between them. They keep having failed relationship after failed relationship after failed relationship, right? And I'm going to just use this as an example. I'm a woman. So you Pisces, you may be a woman, right? They keep having failed relationship after failed relationship. They deliberately sabotage these relationships, Pisces, and you could be messing with a the man. They deliberately re uh, keep creating these tower moments in these relationships with women because they truly want to be with a man. And instead of them being true to themselves, being honest with themselves, something could have happened in their life um, where they realize that they are attracted to men more than they're attracted to women. And so what they do is cause like 
they sabotage things with every woman, no matter who come in their life, no matter what the woman look like, no matter what she does. It It is, they find every reason under the sun to have a problem with that woman because the truth is they really want to be with a the man. They won't even be honest with themselves. They, they're they too embarrassed. Um, They won't be real with themselves. So, you know, they, they run through and they, or either if they are not attracted to the same sex, they're so damaged. And this could be something that happened with like they had they have mommy issues. So they disrespect women or mistreat women because they have unresolved mommy issues or something like that. So they sabotage every relationship with every woman that comes across their path and they play the victim or always find something wrong with every woman they'll say she's not the right height she's not the right weight the way that she talked the way that she walked the way her money her her lack of money her it's always the way that she smelled what it's like literally every single time it's always something the sex isn't good enough or she's too sexual it's always an excuse but the truth is they have unresolved issues within themselves because they're damaged they're broken and they won't heal themselves so they treat people in a heart Heartless, in a heartless way or something. Okay, and then the last card out is communication is key. New moon in Gemini. You want to communicate with this person and things like that. I'm going to tell you the truth, Pisces. Communication is key, but I get that this person is not even having real conversations with themselves. I get you're on another level right now. Your mind frame is on, a, like your, your, your perspective of things is at another level. So you're seeing things from a way where you actually have empathy for this person because you know that they're damaged. You know that they've been hurt. Um, you're no longer in the space where you're you're feeling sorry for yourself because of what they did to you. You realize that this person is hurt and that's why they continue to hurt people. They don't ho know how to have a healthy relationship with people because they're damaged. They won't even go get hurt. So they can make promises to people they have no intention on keeping because they know that they're going to continue to treat people heartless because their heart is damaged and unhealed and things like that. So I find, I, Pisces, I feel that you have ground yourself. You're in a different area. You're in a different emotion. You're in a different mind frame. You're seeing things from a different perspective, from the bigger picture. You're seeing things from their perspective. You're seeing things from your perspective. The bridges that this person burns with everybody has nothing to do with you. Do not internalize that. The damage that they did like the, that they caused you was because they're beyond damage. You wouldn't even imagine they, I get the energy that something has happened in their life that they're not telling you something that was brutal to them or something that really hurt them deeply. Like I said, this could have happened. Like they may have a bad relationship with their own mom or their own dad or something. That's why they're unable to have healthy relationships with other women or men or something. Yeah. So that's the end of the reading Pisces. I hope that you love it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got some sort of guidance in this. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all that positive feedback in the other video. I'm sending you nothing but positive energy. If you want to know how to donate to my channel, for those who were um, in the comment section asking how they could donate, please hit that description box because all of my donation information is in there. And if you decide you want to become a member, that information will be available within the next 24 hours. So check me out. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.